Hi there! In this video we will take a look how to add a text field or multiple text field to our product page in Shopify and also how to style it according to our yeah, brand design. So the only thing you have to do is you have to open up our app text box by Textify. You can click create field and now you can decide if you just want to show a simple text field or if you want to have maybe different kind of text fields in a combination like product opt options. You can also add some other things like checkboxes. But let us now just focus on the simple text field. I will click on simple text box. I can now decide how it should be called text field sample. That's what I will use as a name. And now on the right side, we can also see already how the text field will look like. And now we will come to some really great features because a text box, a text field is not just a text field. It is so much more and I will now show to you why you should go with that approach. And yeah, let me explain it a little bit. So there are different kind of use cases when you will need a text field and sometimes you will require less text, maybe just a single line, maybe specific kind of characters. And on the other hand, maybe you want to receive much more information from your customers. So it's necessary to provide also, yeah, more help text, for example, a tool tip, like a placeholder. Also, you want to maybe change the size a little bit of this text, text field. And I will now show to you how to do it so that your customers, your end customers will exactly get what they want. Because if they will not find it on the product page, what they want, so let's assume they have to enter much text and you will just have a ugly, very small text field. Then the problem is that's also almost like a conversion killer. And that's why we have developed this kind of solution. So I will show to you what you can do with that. So we can decide if it should be a single line or a multi-line field. We can also, if it's a single line field, decide if it should be resizable or not. So we can turn it off and on. We can say in my case, let's keep it as a multi-line field. We can now decide what kind of heading we should have here. So for example, add, let us write, please add some text in that text field. And we can also make a line break and we can write some more things here. That's also important that we have these opportunities to go into the second line so that it will be formatted really well. So let us now say, um, if you need help, please check our help section. Right, that's how we can do it. We can now move on and we can also say what kind of size it should have, the help text, let's say, um, not the help text, the, the heading. I think 12 is a really good size, so everything fits, looks really nice. Placeholder can be 14. We can also make some small rounded corners, let's say maybe by five pixels. We can now decide what kind of text should be entered into the text field. So sometimes we have some products where we need some restrictions like text and numbers, only text, only numbers, only an email address. In my case, we can allow everything, also the emojis and everything. We can decide what kind of width it should have. For example, full width would be also possible, but in my case, we can just keep it auto. That's fine. We can also decide um, what kind of um, color it should get. So let us now take a look here. We can see this is the label color. So let us now style everything in a nice blue color. So I think this is a great color. We can copy also the hex, co hex code. Now we can change the border color as well. Placeholder could be also in that blue color, but we can make it a little bit. Yeah, maybe let's also say we, can, we will keep it in that blue color. I think that's nice. Now we can move on. We can say we will enforce a maximum length for our text fields. So let's say we need 25 characters because our product, there will be just 25 characters which will fit Maybe it's a shirt or pullover and we just have this character limitation. Otherwise it will go out of the, the edges. So that's why we can go with 25. We can say it's required or not. In my case, it's not required. So I will not make it required right now. We can also activate a price add-on. That means whenever someone is entering something into that text field, 
that there will be an upcharge. So for example, let's just turn that on. We can say um, we want to create a price add-on. I will just call it sample. And it should be always five euros which should be added whenever someone will enter something in the text field. So let's now activate it. We can also activate the tooltip here and we can also style the tooltip. So let us also copy the blue color from here and also put it in the tooltip because everything should match nice, uh, nicely according to our brand. And we can also move on if it's multi, if we have different kind of languages in our store, we can also add some translations to it. So now let's decide on which products we want to show it, whether on all products, this is the default setting, this products, specific variants or collections. In my case, we can show it on the personalizable bracelet. Personalizable bracelet, I will click add. I will click save. Now the field is getting generated, the text field. We can see here it was created. Also, there is a small batch for the price add-on. If we now go back to the product page, we will refresh it. We can see that our text field is showing here. We can also say we want to change it to full width, for example. Let's do that as well. Full save. We go back to our product page and refresh it. So nice. Now it's a very big text field and the people can get started entering the text and also maybe multi lines. So they have a good overview. They can also get information from the tooltip and we have the character limitation inside. So not more than 25 characters can be entered. So I think that's a pretty nice text field. And now just that you know, we have also other opportunities. So if you go back to the app dashboard, create field, go to product options, you can now also make a text field set. So that means you can add, let me show it to you. For example, two text fields on top of each other and can also set a conditional logic. For example, just if some text is entered in the first field, show the second field. So this is also nice if you want a little bit, if you want to play a little bit around, you can do it here. And then also um, to complete it, you can just also say you want to add some more functionalities like a description which you can show. Then you can also hold it, click, move it accordingly. So you can make your own set of text fields and yeah, personalization opportunities. So that's how easy it is to add a text field to your product page. Yeah, that's it.